Oh, 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 do you know what the create table as statement is or the CTAS statement? Oh, it is one of the most powerful data engineering uh, tools that, well, a data engineer has. It allows you to create a table using a simple select statement. Today, not only am I going to show you how to write this and create it, but I'm going to show you how you can use it either simply in managing your your bronze to silver layer or an advanced pattern. This is one that you got to have down on lock. It's super important. It's really valuable for you. And then this could turn like almost anyone into a data engineer. All right. So make sure you like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, leave comments, ask questions. You know, you know what that stuff is. <clears throat> and if you want early access to this content, become a member. You can, uh, you know, for as little as five dollars a month, you support the channel and you get early access to all of these videos. All right. So what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? <laughs> we are talking about the create table as statement or the CTAS statement. Now, this is where I'm going to hone in on is we're talking about loading our data from our bronze layer through our or through our processing into our silver layer. So these CTAS statements I'm going to create are going to exist right here. Now you say, I'm sure you say, Hey, Chris, what about from my silver layer to gold layer? Uh, yes, you could do those inside of here too. It's, it's a little more difficult right now, I'm, but I'm going to show you how you could get it done uh, using this process today from bronze to silver. Okay. In the future, we're going to, I'm going to show you where this is going to come up with. Okay. Let's dive into it. Now, First things first, we're going to be using SQL notebooks to do this. Okay. There's, there's some other different ways that you can do it, but I absolutely love the SQL notebook because of how easy it is to create it. And I've got two examples here that I'm going to be showing you, um, uh, like actually running you through these. And then I'm actually going to build one with you. I'm just going to probably follow the simple, simple pattern. Okay. Let's start out though, with the most basic of them. And that's the simple load process. Okay. So what are we going to do in a simple load process? Let me just kind of shrink that up for you. Okay. First things first, uh, when we do a s simple load process, we're going to query the table that we want to be getting our results from. Why do we do that? Uh, a, a couple of different reasons. Number one, to ensure so the lake house has compute, it's responding, you know, and it kind of warms it up so that when I go to actually query this data and query the load, I know that it's going to be, uh, it's going to be as efficient as possible. Number two, I'm going to use explicit field names I'm expecting in my landing or in my bronze data that I'm going to be moving over into my uh, silver. Why am I going to do that? Well, your bronze data is going to be your raw data that you've brought in. Uh, those processes sometimes go awry. Sometimes field names change, processes change, and you don't necessarily want, you know, when whatever's changed upstream could have all sorts of breaking changes downstream. You want to kind of stop that, address that as early in your flow as possible. This ensures that you, you, you don't ever, you don't even go beyond this query step. If all of a sudden there are no fields in your table, or I don't know, they've radically changed something in the table. So I'm going to first run this step. Okay. Once that's done. Um, uh, and you know, as a developer, I could go and I can review this and, and that's all well and good. But the next thing is I'm going to go into my CTAS statement. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to hone in on how this create table as statement or CTAS statement is formed. Okay. So the first part is you're going to tell it, Hey, we're going to create a table and then I'm going to name what the table is. And then I'm going to say as, and then from there, oh, I kind of block that up. All I have to do is drop in a select statement. Now, in this case, I shouldn't have select top 100. That's not effective. I don't want to have that. Right. And then I, what this is, this is going to generate my table and you know, this will, this is all I technically need to do that create table as statement. I'm going to show you one little trick though. You got to make sure you include, and, uh, that's this query to see if the object exists at all. And if the object exists, delete it first. Okay. So it's good check. Say, okay, Hey, if my object ID. AdventureWorks Silver Dim Geography, which is what I'm creating here, 
is you, i.e., is you know, is you know, is available, right? It, it, if it exists, basically, um, drop this table, right? Uh, you're going to drop the table, and then the very next thing we're going to do is we're going to create that. We're going to load it from uh, that silver layer. This is also a good point where we, we would go in and we'd apply transformations. Maybe we ignore some fields. We do some casting. Um, but for this very simplified version, I'm just going to show you like what this looks like. Okay. Um, and we're just querying it. And again, we're being explicit in the fields that we're loading. And then the last thing we do is we just, we, we put in a place for a validation query, i.e. that we actually got results back. And then this is up and running and functioning. Okay. This is our simple load pattern. If I go up to the top, hit run all, it's going to start up at the top and it's going to like run through all of the items below that. So you can see it's preparing, it's running cell two. So it's on here. It's going to run this real quick, generate that table. It's already on to the, the CTAS statement. It's going to run and it's done there. And now boom, uh, we're done and we're loaded. Okay. Very simple process, really nice and easy, right? Okay, that's the simple load process. Let's talk about what does an advanced load process look like, okay? So first things first, why would we wanna do that? Now, if you saw, as part of the CTAS statement, we drop the table and then we recreate the table. Now, that's all well and good when things run as fast as what we had. But part of the build of our silver layers could be applying business rules, adding logic, doing cleansing activities, that type of thing is gonna happen in our silver layer. So you might encounter tables that have a really long load time. Uh, like maybe it loads for five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever it is. Well, from the point where I drop the table and then the point where it finishes running that CTAS statement, that table is in like this, like not available or not fully loaded state. Um, so it's not in a good place, right? So instead of uh, you know potentially impacting your production environment, your production workloads, we're going to use something uh, you know that's kind of like a temp table. SQL uh, warehouses doesn't yet really support temp tables, otherwise we'd use that. Uh, but I'm going to show you how we, we could do that now. Um, uh, we're going to be running the 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 same thing. So we 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 do the query of our lake house, and this is actually something good to point out. I am connecting to my lake house, my bronze dim customer, and that's where I'm going to be loading this to. So that's the nice thing about SQL notebooks is I can connect to both a lake house and a warehouse to do these loads. And I can actually even do uh, like, you know, joining queries between the warehouse and the lake house. You know, you can get really complex and it's in this complexity where you don't want that a uh, potential long loading or long running time to impact production, okay? So first things first, we're gonna create a new table or, or temp table or a new table for this, okay? So uh, look, I'm gonna create, um, you know, I'm gonna do the same check. Like, hey, is the new table, is there a new table there? Did something happen where the new table got left behind and it's there? If so, delete it, drop that table. We wanna get that out of there so I can go ahead and build that out. Next thing I'm going to do in here is I'm going to start to apply that business logic that I want as part of my silver layer, right? So I'm going to do a few things where I'm going to cast uh, date types to be very sp specific in the date types I want them to be. Uh, I'm going to do renames. Like I don't need to have English education because I'm dropping S Spanish and French. I don't need those, right? So I just need English and I just need the occupation, right? So I could do that and potentially much, much more in here, right? And so all of that's gonna go into creation of a new table. We're again gonna test this out. This is a good place for you to actually do data validation queries against it. So you could do, uh, you, you know, I'm just doing a query here at select star. You could actually do some comparison between old and new, making sure your record counts exist. And then uh, you could actually imp implement logic inside your T-SQL statements to then uh, like maybe not load or maybe load something else, right? If you run into issues, right? Um, uh, all this stuff is, is impossible, but we're just going to keep this r a little more simple. Once that gets done, we're going to make sure we're going to like go through and we're going to swap out that new for the old, or I'm sorry, new for the production table. So we're going to see that, you know, Hey, um, 
this is in. It's running. So now let's do that hot swap of customer with the new table. Because we're no, we're not doing any transformations. It's a like for like. You are know, basically just selecting from one into another. This radically reduces our time from uh, the drop statement to when it's entirely loaded. Um, honestly, I prefer a rename statement because then there's no actual data movement. But this is the best we have right now. Um, uh, so, but this this does work because there's other DB uh, database management systems that don't support a rename statement. We have to do this. So, um, but regardless. This makes it much faster and easier to do that swap because we're not having to take on the burden of doing additional loads, okay? And then once that's done, you wanna, of course, do the validation of the production table, uh, make sure that that runs and processes. And then when that's all completed, you, you know, we do wanna do that clean up of that new table so that we delete that new table so that we don't have all these new objects just hanging around. We know that I'll get dropped the next time it runs, but you know, we still still don't wanna have that in place, okay? Uh, but now all I do is I run all. My processes are gonna start at the top. You know, we're gonna see them start to run and execute. Just get my queries, so three seconds there. Creating my temp table, that took five seconds. Uh, doing a query just to make sure that it was loaded appropriately. That ran in a couple seconds, right? That ran, and boom, we are all done with that. Easy, huh? Good, you like it? All right, let me know down in the comments, how useful is the CTAS statement to you? Can you see all the different ways you can use it to help you manage it, your environment and do different things? I'm jacked up about it because it's like, you can run huge, massive warehouses, thousands of processes, and it makes it really simple for a large number of people to easily go in, manage, enrich, and enhance this because you're just using basic SQL statements. SQL statements that have been around for like, literally like 50 years. So it, it becomes really easy to run and manage and optimize. I, I'm just a huge fan. As I said, if you have questions, comments, leave them down below. Like, subscribe, do the whole thing, become a member, support the channel, you know, go to the store down below, buy a t-shirt, all that stuff if you want to help out. And if you're still watching, you know, hey, that would be great. I really appreciate it. You have the best day ever. Peace. Oh, <laughs> this is kind of complex. So if you need help, head over to bakertilly.com slash digital and, you know, fill out the little form myself or someone else will reach out, give you a hand. Um, otherwise, if you think you could do this stuff yourself, and I know you can, check out these videos right here or here, and uh, you can learn more about how to do these things yourself. You had the best day ever. Peace. Bye-bye.